sources are telling our Shimon Prokopets now that 12 in all shot, and CNN has also confirmed now four dead, uh, Sam. So this is still considered an active shooter scene, even though authorities said earlier they have one gunman in custody. What are they making sure of right now before uh, they say it's an all clear, before the concentrated efforts are on tending to the injured? Well, they dead. have to canvas the building. And the Tree of Life Synagogue, I've never been there, but it looks rather large. There are multiple rooms in any synagogue. It is unclear whether this suspect was acting by himself or with others. So now that he has reportedly left the building, they're likely looking to see whether there's anybody else in there that may pose a threat. So, and simultaneously, to your point, they're interacting with law enforcement partners around the country to share information about what happened and to perhaps share advice on what to do with local synagogues. And I think we may see other synagogues, not just in New York City, but around the country, take extra precautions, just like after the bombs were mailed to the first set of targets, we know that law enforcement went to other potential sites just to share protocols on what to do. I think we'll see that repeated. Hmm. Unfortunately, religious institutions, schools, malls, mm -hmm. these are classic soft targets. And sometimes the bad people, whoever they are, whatever ideology, hateful ideology they're, they're, they're driven by or consumed by, or whether or not they have mental health issues, they're going to take the path of least resistance. And going to do something at the airport now is, is mm -hmm. exponentially more difficult. But going to an undefended synagogue, mm -hmm. not so mm -hmm. much.